in this question you are asked which of the following is correct uh, with regards to photoelectric effect um, for option a photoelectric emission takes place instantaneously why because single photon transfer all its energy in a concentrated packet to an electron uh, this statement is actually correct already yeah uh, and this actually is how the photon theory uh, correctly predicted or rather right, do away with the time delay problem which wave theory faces because wave theory is saying right that at very low intensity there will be a time delay because um, the electron right needs to absorb uh, energy slowly over some time because intensity is very low and it will take some time before you observe right the first electrons uh, being emitted okay from the instant you shine the light whereas right photon theory um, is talking about um, the lights right in terms of packets in terms of photons so even though the intensity is very low it simply means right there are less photons arriving per unit time but the moment the electrons absorb those photons they will get emitted so there's no time delay here okay let's take a quick look at the other statement uh, why they are wrong regardless of incident frequency no photo uh, emission will take place unless uh, the intensity is above a threshold so this statement right, is actually opposite so this is actually right regardless of incident intensity okay no photo emission take place unless the frequency is above the threshold yep um, statement C at a given wavelength the higher the work function uh, the higher the Ke max uh, this is incorrect because you see the hf equals to work function plus ke max so at any frequency or wavelength so this one is kept constant okay then right the larger the work function the less ke the electrons will have okay um, upon being liberated yeah it's like uh, you're given a fixed amount of money uh, pocket money per day so if you need to spend more on uh, traveling okay because that one is like a fixed cost like that then you will have less money left over for your lunch break which is like your ke max um, option d stopping potential for any given experiment depends only on the matter use okay uh, and independent of the wavelength uh, this is once again uh, incorrect because once again you look at the formula right the stopping potential is um, a measure of the ke max okay and clearly right you can see that stopping potential will depend on both your frequency and the work function 